Hey everyone, this is Josh with TechZone UK and we've got another quick uh, WordPress video for you today. Uh, in this video we're going to be taking a look at how to add more users to our WordPress website. So you're probably thinking, you know, why would you want to add more users? Well, there's lots of different reasons. Say you want uh, people to, uh, you want editors for example, say you've got a news website, you want to have dedicated editors where they can write their own articles uh, and submit them to your website, you know, so you don't have to do all the admin work for your site, but you don't want to give them uh, administrative using, uh, administrative privileges so that they could take down your blog or do delete posts and things like that. This is where you can allow uh, different uh, rankings when people sign up. One of the most common uh, methods that you can use to get people to sign up is the subscriber ranking but we'll get into that in a second I'll show you all the different levels uh, that you can use so you probably notice already me saying users you notice that on the left hand side on our WordPress dashboard here we have the users uh, function or the users button and you'll see if we highlight our mouse over that we can click on all users and this will allow us to bring us to the all users section so uh, pretty much to add a new user all we do is click on add new and uh, we can add it a username so let's call this uh, uh, tech1 for like tech writer1 email is going to be tech1 at techzoneuk.com first name is going to be uh, I'm just going to put job, uh, job uh, josh techzone <laughs> website password again is going to be the same as mine which is capital P password123 and uh, you can see at the bottom here we have the role. So we have subscriber, administrator, editor, author, and contributor. The most common ones you're probably going to use are subscriber, administra administrator, and editor, and author. Can't really see any use of a con uh, contributor uh, ranking, but uh, subscriber is very good because you can have it set up where people can create an account on your website, um, and they can be a subscriber, and they'll be able to comment. Um, they'll be able to, um, you know, uh, have more interaction with your website, so they'll feel like they're part of your website instead of just coming along to your website and doing nothing, pretty much. Um, and it also means that you can gather when they sign up, you can gather their email address and send them. Um, send them emails uh, that I'll get onto in a future video uh, using a tool um, but basically you can gather people's emails and send new um, newsletters and things like that to them so for this case what we're going to do is we're going to create this uh, this one as a uh, author I think and we're going to hit add new user so um, pretty much after you've entered all the information for them you can see it still lists all our uh, roles it's our, well users it says our usernames their name the email address that's registered to, uh, to that account uh, we have the role of that account so obviously we've got the administrator which is our admin account uh, and then we have our author which is the one we just created and it also shows us how many posts that user's created so good thing about this is if you obviously you've got a, an author account you would expect them to be creating posts so you can keep a close eye on how many posts they're doing uh, on your site so if they're not doing any posts then well I'd get rid of them so um, that's the benefit of of uh, people being able to post on your or be able to create users for your account uh, for your website sorry and uh, so say we want to delete this user you probably just saw it a second ago we simply just put our cursor over the uh, section of which the um, user is on and we just simply click uh, on delete uh, and this will allow them to uh, or to delete it and what you can actually do is um, select uh, what should be done with the post owned by this user you can say delete all posts or attribute uh, all posts to another user so obviously if this user has created tens of you know if not hundreds of posts for your website you might not necessarily want to, to get rid of all those posts I mean that's a bit a bit harsh well not harsh but you still want that content because that's driving visitors to your website so uh, what you want to do is uh, attribute those posts to another user obviously in my case it's going to be admin because that's the only account we have uh, on this uh, system uh, but you could uh, easily uh, send that off to another author um, or even you know add it to your admin account so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on confirm deletion and this will create or any posts that that tech one account had created and pass them on to me so uh, there we go that's pretty much it one thing you can do is when you're a subscriber and pretty much any ranking is when you're um, uh, when you 
create an account, whether you're a subscriber or whatnot, obviously you then have a username and password. You can then go to the website, you know, um, yourwebsite.com forward slash WP admin, and then even subscribers can log in with the username and password. And what they will have access to is a section called your profile. And depending on what system you have set up, you can add things like a um, bit of information about yourself, you know, um, biographical information, you can set new passwords, email addresses, uh, display name, I don't think they have options to that. Um, but you know, add first name, information, nicknames, things like that. Uh, they can add tons of stuff. Um, and if you have the right plugins, you can also add things like um, profile pictures and and stuff like that. So have a look on under plugins for you know profile pictures. I think there's one called uh, Gravitar, uh, G R A V uh, I T A R, Gravitar. I think it is or Gravatar. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, just search for a plugin that's like a profile picture plugin, and then when you come to your profile, there'll be a button where you can like upload your own profile picture, and that'll be displayed on your on your um, WordPress blog. So uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Just wanted to give you a quick show around uh, how you can add users and remove users uh, for your blog. Uh, you bear in mind, not all users will know how to log into your blog, so uh, or website. So it might be worth adding that, you know, that meta um, widget that we talked about before. It might be worth going to widgets under appearance uh, widgets. I'll show you quickly, uh, and then just adding the meta one, which allows you to log in and out. Uh, you might want to put it on the right side, but I might put it wherever. We'll put it under archives for now. We'll click save and go to about, and then obviously we've got our meta, so people can log in and out, and they'll be able to comment under on our thing. And you can also set up under uh, settings and uh, discussion. You can set it to uh, click under anyone posts. Um, email me whenever that happens. Uh, let me have a look. I can't remember where the system is. Uh, there you, go, you can set set default avatars for users. Um, I can't remember where the the post um, section is. Is it on reading or writing? Uh, here we go. This is it. Sorry, users must be registered and logged in to comment. So obviously they'd have to create a subscriber account. Scroll down and click save changes. And then you'll see that if I click uh, if I come to my web page, refresh. Go around to the bottom, click log out. You can see here it says you must be logged in to post a comment. So if we click on login or logged in, we could then uh, create an account. Uh, let me log in here. Uh, and then under the settings uh, on the discussion, there is a option to, uh, under general, I believe. Um, we have a look for the settings. Anyone can register. That's the one. Uh, under membership, you want to tick anyone can register and you want to make the new role for default role. Uh, you can make administrators if you wanted to, uh, but we're going to keep it as subscriber. So when we hit save changes, and we go back to our blog and uh, sign out, you'll see it says we need to be signed in. So we click on logged in, and we now have the option to register. So we click on register, register for this site, and then you are asked for your email, uh, username and email. They send you, uh, we then send, or it sends you an email, or the, the person an email with a random password that allows them to configure a password for your site. So you've got that, um, you know that the email they're providing you is genuine, which is nice. Uh, and then obviously they can log into your site and start, log into your site, sorry, and start, um, you know, com uh, commenting and, and things like that. So. That's pretty much it. You can also set up options like uh, monitoring comments, uh, so you can make it so they, their comment won't show until you've monitored, um, uh, moderated it, uh, and things like that. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then by all means click the like button, and if you want to see more from my series, uh, then click on subscribe. And if you've got any questions or um, uh, comments or anything like that, then uh, leave them in the comment section below. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. See you guys later. Take care.